Okay, we are back, and I want to introduce our little guy. He's always around, but you guys never see him very much on camera. Look at Simon. Simon is a very old dog, and uh, once in a while you might hear him bark, but he's always down on the floor, and uh, he doesn't want to be picked up a lot of times, so I picked him up just to bring him and say hi, and he'll want to go back now, won't you, Mr. Boy? Okay, I got to go to work. You need to go down. Okay, we're back, and uh, we were just picking up. Where did we need to pick up for you had... I'm going to start a new timer yep. so that we remember, kind of, maybe, sort of. Uh, well, and I have taken charge of the captive. And, you've uh, taken charge of the captive, so why don't we start there? Because Lavinia just gave you guys another heal, right? Okay, yeah, yep. they gave everybody What do you want to do with your captive? captive? Um, well, I'm waiting for a decision from the group because I think he can lead us back to where, where we can use the map to go back to the uh, their base. And uh, what are we going to do with them? So I need to get a decision from the group. My opinion, since he is alive, um, yes, lead us back. Yeah. I mean, remember he, he can't he's, see. He's currently blind. Right. Because I right. And he's also. I'm glowing sure he has a good white. good sen sense of smell. Yeah. So and we've got a map. And he's glowing very bright right now. So we could use him to guide the way. Ooh. And uh, why you use to cut some fish over? Why is he glowing? Sorry. Because you, you cast light on him. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> Sorry. He will be our beacon for the trip there, but it will attract attention of uh, I, I their agree. compatriots. Let's and uh, so you I, hear this I, little I, dwarf I, just I, mumbling I, under his breath to himself. <laughs> just mumbling under his breath to himself in Dwarvish. If you're so, going to address the group, then, then address them properly and don't mumble. <laughs> Enunciate. And what language do you tell him this in? Latin. Latin. And uh, he he kind of sort of glances around. Clearly, he's heard uh, what you've said. And uh, uh, he says something to the effect of, Ah, when Heglin gets, when Helgen gets done with you, we'll see what your story is then. <laughs> that, would be the H. that would be the H. Yeah. So, Thank you for that information. So The, the H. Yeah. The H. Let's so, uh, so the the question before the group is, do we want to go back and free the slaves? And how far are we from their encampment? You have been traveling probably an hour to ninety minutes from the okay. abandoned, looted camp. Right. When you got to the bridge. Okay, and if we so, were to go back on foot, it would be a little longer. If, we if were... you go back on foot, I'm going to say it's probably a four-hour walk, maybe yeah. a five. Because, of course, that's where the Dwergar spotted you, and they had to trail you while you were, move, you were on the Mammoth, right? So it took them four to five <laughs> hours, and they can move very fast. Yeah. It took them four to five hours to catch up to you mm. where you camped from that looted camp. So I'm going to assume it's roughly the same amount of time back to the looted camp. How far away are we from the bridge? If you zoom out on, uh, let's look at the, I'm going to look at the area map just on my adventure screen and you guys can look yourselves on your own. You can scroll to zoom out on your map and then you can right click to drag the map around and it would appear that you're really close. You're like from the stone that you're all around. Mm. The edge of it is right here. You are less than a stone's throw from the bridge. So what's... The... Here's my theory. Yeah. I do not want to call on the mammoth the until we're past the bridge because we don't want the mammoth having to go across the bridge because it may be too heavy for okay. the bridge. That's just my... Back to my initial um, question. But we are thinking about going back the other way yeah. to free some prisoners. Right. Right. Now remember, there is, I believe, in the journal, an image of the, the bridge. Map. If you go to the party journal and you go to ambush at the bridge at the very bottom of the party journal, I've added it. You can see the picture 
of the bridge. I could even pop it up on all your screens for you if you want. Uh, yeah, you know, Pretty I guess bridge. what is our initial purpose? It is to get to the queen. We were trying to get to the queen. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to be a stick in the mud. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of reminding us that, yeah, shiny and shiny and shiny and shiny. But all if exist. we're in five hours of captives who may become allies yeah should we not we probably should do something about like that. Old, old fisherman I, young fisherman and, yeah yeah so, so <laughs> the white the whiny fisherman is uh whiny is fisherman, interesting yeah. sounding <laughs> so if that's the case then i can call up our mastodon again if it will it'll speed the journey up from four hours to one yeah and then when we but get but then we only have one uh, mastodon use left this month. Yeah. Well, yeah. You'll have you get four, you've used one, you we have used three. Two. No, you have one. three now, we but if we one. use one again to take us back there. Oh, we've only used one? We've only yeah. used one. Okay. Because when you got off it and gone back on it, yeah. It was still there. It didn't yeah. despawn. Okay. No. So do you wish to search the area? Yes. Why do I even have to ask you that? You should be asking me that. <laughs> Who's going could to we, search the area? Could we search the area? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's searching the area? Well, mm. I've got the captive right now, so you guys okay, search so the area. Okay, so Thaddeus and, and Josephine I'll search the, the area. I will sort through the brush. I'm assuming we roll a perception check. Roll, yeah, perception, please. I keep on going to investigation, which is the old D and D setup, right? But this is Pathfinder. Same thing, right? Same thing. I rolled an eighteen. Oh, that's awesome. Fifteen counters. And then what's my actual perception? Ooh. Yeah, my perception is plus twelve, so I'm thirty. I'm, I'm starting through the brush with a 30 on, on my. Sorry, there's. Oh. Ah, okay. Um, so when you do that, this is what you discover. Ooh. Ooh. The stone that you were standing on top of, you notice, has something on it. Uh, do we have this on an adventure screen? Let's try that. Is that good? There, everybody else at home can see it now. So this is uh, what you notice is that this stone has got something on it. It appears to be some kind of large ornate glyph. Raven speaks up and says, I would like to try and check for magic. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't find any magic around the stone. He does notice that on the um, like on the water, water, halfway across the river, there appears to be a luminous line that is a giant barrier wall. Mm -hmm. And it is a massive amount of em magic emanating from it. All right, paying that no attention to the to the mammoth that's over here hiding in the bushes <laughs> he's, he's your hidden mammoth um so uh that's the only thing he notices going back to the stone when raven examines it he can clearly see that laying down at the base of the stone is the other piece of whatever the completed thing is with his magical ability he's able to identify that it is apparently some kind of ward some kind of ward spell. Ah. And it has been damaged and broken. And normally a ward spell would be glowing as this big thing. And this one is dark. And a piece of it has been broken off. And when he looks closer, it looks like a piece of it got smashed off by a great big heavy maul hitting it during a recent battle. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> so... I'm always in the back of holding my head. Okay. Uh, that's what you know. That's what you find out. You don't find out anything else in the area except that uh, this uh, rune, whatever it is, is badly broken and damaged. And 
there is a massive barrier across the bridge. Okay. So does that... I guess we don't know until we encounter the barrier, but it's like I was thinking, does the the magical barrier keep us out, or is it for people... I, I, well, I really guess we don't... Anytime we've talked to people who mm -hmm. about the getting to the fairy territory, mm -hmm. they say there's that the bridges are impassable. Um, it seems like the whole river is impassable, too. Yeah. Monty but... said that all of the rivers that border the Feyland on all directions mm -hmm. are all enchanted with this barrier yeah. to prevent anybody from passing into the Feywood uh, because of the problem with the, it didn't used to be that way, but now that Yago's forces are nearby, the Fae Queen has enchanted the border with this barrier as one of her protections to keep any enemies out of the Fae Wood. Now, if we could um, decode this uh, runic spell imprinted on the stone and somehow piece it together, would that allow us passage? We could try it. You okay, Dick? Raven says, "Yeah, I'm good. I'm well. I'm all, I'm okay." Okay. Um, Raven says that uh, the level of this ward is much higher than he is. There's no way that he could actually re-enchant this ward to work, even if you could fix it. Yeah. Probably, it could only be fixed or can be completely replaced by whoever cast it in the first place. But I would like to replace the piece of stone. And try and read it with my knowledge that okay. I retained from the tiger. All or right. magnifying glass. Tiger All right. Sure. You go ahead and you hold the piece of stone up. Yep. You hold it in place. Yeah, between the two of you, you've got the magnifying glass and he's yep. got the were tiger. I got the were tiger to, you know, knowledge. So I should be able read to read runic. Read the runic doodad. So we'll see what we got. Uh, I got a 19. That's pretty good. Okay, basically it says, uh, beware the guardians of the bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, close your eyes as you cross, and if you are humble and friendly to the Fae, uh, you will be able to pass with no problems. Oh, okay. I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. What's your idea? Of course based you do, on a, based on an Indiana Jones movie that obviously Josephine Smith has never seen. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, uh, it was only the uh, penitent, pious, pious man may only pass. Penitent and he, man. Pen, pen, yeah, the penitent, penitent man. So he had to bow to right. avoid the, yes. uh, the the swords or mm -hmm. the. Yeah. Um, the blades coming across his head so i'm thinking to be humble we might need to crawl across this bridge just putting it out there i have no objection to that nor do i i'm looking forward to seeing who the guardian of the bridge is because i just have this feeling so well uh are we going to try and rescue some slaves first, though? Like, we know that there are people... So, now that we know where we in, are... ...in suffering. Yeah. Yeah, I think now that we know what's going on with this bridge and that we have to keep our eyes closed and be humble, um, now we know what to do when we get back here. So now our, we can do the side quest and go and rescue these slaves. So I say we go rescue the slaves. You are... You, is everybody with me? Wait. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just wondering what time of day it is, what time of night it is, because we should, if we're going to be... Wasn't it morning? Light is coming up now. Uh, it's okay. like so 5.30 a.m. So yeah. we haven't had a full night's rest. Mm -mm. You got attacked in the middle of the night. We got attacked in the middle of the night. It was like 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. But the daytime would be the time it, to and... um, go into their encampment. Right. Rather, you know. And we because may if we not go at have, night, we will be at a very serious. We disadvantage. may not have been able to heal anything, but uh, she can get by with virtually no sleep. Um, I think I got maybe four hours. You got. Yeah, I just want spells, spell slots back. That's all. Understood. Mm. Uh, like maybe to point out something. The, the other part of the examination, when you examine the area, Lavinia was asking about guardians. Mm. You notice there's very obviously in the picture that I've just shown all of you that there is very obviously a picture of the bridge with two stone angels. 
one of the things that Josephine notices as you're examining is that both of their faces have broken off and are laying on the ground now. Oh, oh wow. that's morbid. Their heads are still there, but their faces have broken off and it looks like it's very recent. Like someone smashed them? Somebody defaced them. No, they don't look like they've been... Uh, <laughs> they don't look like they've been vandalized. Their faces are intact okay. as one piece each and they just have slowed off and, and they've they fallen on the ground. slid off? Yes. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if my face never falls off. That would be embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. And besides that, then it's hard to, you know, drink through a straw. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want to do, peoples? You have now got to do something. Okay. I think we decided. Sorry. So you said wait, and uh, our sun is already coming. Okay. Coming up. So by the time we get Let's there, go. it will be daytime. All right, and uh, we yeah, may I... not be able to rest fully, so that Lavinia can get all the spells back. But I think we have to take that on the nose because we want to do this side quest. I think this is urgent done. because it yeah. is a five-hour journey. Yeah. And so, if so we want to be there and back. Do you want to mammoth? Yes, please. Are we doing a mammoth? We're doing a mammoth, and this, so we'll have two more after this. Okay. And when we get to the bridge, you can nap on the mammoth. Okay. Yeah, you could nap on. What the are mammoth, you doing maybe. with your prisoner? Uh, with my prisoner, I am. We're taking him with us, right? I think we have to. Yeah. I think we have to take him with us. Although I will put a hood on him. Well, he can't see anyways. He doesn't like the light. That's All the better. Good. You just want to torture him. Yeah. Okay, fine. Well, what was the purpose of casting the light on him? So we couldn't get on with things and yeah. do things to us. And right. As you examine him, he's got his eyes just scrunched up closed. And he's listening to everything you see. You say and he's chuckling to himself as you as you say it all, right? And uh even though we were he speaking knows English we don't know. Amongst ourselves. He doesn't necessarily know what you said, but he's still chuckling to himself. Mm. Mm. I, I want, it may sound silly, but I want to make sure that he's still treated okay. So, you know, yeah, we're not offer him torturous. water, do that sort of thing. Well, we will be as humane as we must. Okay. Even um, he tried to kill us. Something <laughs> you want to, may want to pay attention to is the map that you found. Yeah. You can have a look at it in your journal, right? I can pop it up for you if you want. Open it for the players. There. That should show it to everybody. But uh, it's just an image there. I don't know if you're able... You should be able to zoom in to read everything that's on the map. Hi, Zed Zed. We do have another joiner on our chat. Cool. Yay. Hey, hello, Zed Zed. Yeah, we're Canadian, so we say Zed Zed. Mm -hmm. So does the rest of the world. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just, do they? It's yeah, just, maybe they do. Yeah, it's just the U.S. Yeah, they're British. British. Yeah, the British all over Europe, they say Zed. Okay, interesting. So, uh, as you examine the map, uh, what do you find? I'm okay, looking at a band in the Let's put it up on the adventure screen so everybody can see it. Okay, Dave Troll Hill. Bridge. Yeah. Okay, so there's a troll bridge and abandoned mine. When you compare it to case. your map, you can see that it is obviously a sketch that's been taken from a map that's very much like yours because the waterway is exactly the same. Uh, and the road that you're coming on in the looted camp is clearly that little fork that's right in the middle there. And then you uh, ended up at the bridge south of that fork. So you are here now, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So there's a Groll Bridge as well. As troll that, Bridge. It troll. Troll. Does it's it just say Troll. It yeah. looks like Groll. Tea. I know. It's a, It's a. It's a stylized T. Mm. See, it's it's a Bilbo T, as a matter of fact. Yes. Kroll Bridge. Kroll Bridge. <laughs> it's a Kroll Bridge. Anyways. Kroll um... the troll. Chrome <laughs> the gnome. Exactly. Mm. Bend into mine. 
Mm, that reminds me. Uh, Zed Zed says hello there. Nice to see you all. But um, uh, Mom, did you have chat? No. Oh. Okay. Okay. I didn't catch Proceed. that. Proceed. So uh, she's going to create the mammoth. We're all going to get load up. We're going to and... steer this mammoth. Yep. Okay. Okay. So that was my mammoth. Game master brings the mammoth idea. back. Happy okay. mammoth. And goes. Magically, the mammoth appears on the screen for you. Boop, just like that. I love how our mammoth boops. And uh, <laughs> he boops nicely. <laughs> what are you doing with the two Dwergar bodies that you still have laying here? Uh, we've checked one for treasure. Uh, the other one, have you guys already stripped it? I did the one. I think Josephine, and Josephine was in charge uh, of stripping the other. Yeah, I just. There's stuff still on it laying there. I want, should I collect the rest of the stuff? Well, if you want those gems, you might want to grab them. Okay, okay. You don't necessarily have to collect things like the map fragments and stuff because I've already got that in the uh, yeah, uh, sorry. I investigated in the journal. Him and I right? thought that I would just... I'm going to try and make it so that when you discover a piece of lore, sometimes the item will have will actually have the image in it but if i double open if i open the map fragment for example you can see i can't zoom in or do anything with it which is why i put a copy in the uh i wonder what this does oh, that's a broken link uh that's why i put a copy in the journal for you okay in the maps all right same with the note command from h i can't zoom in or make this bigger in any way there's no functionality on an item so that's so, why I go and take it and put it in the in the journal for you somewhere. I have a question. When we examined the abandoned or the raided camp, did the footprints go uh, towards the abandoned mine or away? I guess you're going to have to go back and look. Because I'm looking on the map now and where we are at the, I guess we're at the troll bridge. No, no bridge. Oh, with this bridge down here that yeah. doesn't show up on the map. There's no yeah. bridge listed there on this map. This okay. is a Dwergar map. They okay. don't have Fey stuff listed on it. They have what they know listed on it. Okay, so the Fey wood is here, and so the bridge that we are encountering is somewhere in this mist, right down near the yeah. near the lettering Fey wood. Okay, in that case, um, yeah, the, it did go towards the abandoned mine. The bloody footprints were going off in that direction. Yeah. So we go back towards the abandoned camp and then towards the abandoned mine. And if this guy keeps chuckling at us, we bop on the head. Okay, so you all mount up and you pull yep. him along with you? Yep. He is he is bound and uh all right, so we're gonna just bring you all over to this. Good. Mammoth, do 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 do. There, Lavinia's hanging off the back end. Put you up there. Put you up there. That's we'll put a, a dwarf guard back hanging off the back end. Yes. Weird thing to hear. There we go. <laughs> now, got to do this the right way. We click the frickin' mammoth. We click the open attach a doodly. We get all of you. And then we hit Does that. Boom. Come on. I think it worked. I hope it worked. Let's find out. So now if you move the mammoth, we should follow. Yay! Yay! Okay. On we go. Okay. So um, this is what happens. As you mount your mammoth and you start riding along on your mammoth, you end up re going back the way you came. You can clearly see the mammoth tracks on the dusty trail that you had come southeast on. Yeah. You're heading back now kind of a northwesterly direction, yep. uh, basically along the same track that you've just seen on this map. Uh, it takes you on the mammoth. It only takes you an hour and a half moving okay. to get back to the looted camp. And uh, then we magically, proceed to that uh, that right hand fork to the abandoned mine. You arrive at the looted camp. Peace. Here you all are. 
Uh, I should probably find you a mammoth. I should not have deleted the mammoth from here. Let's go get you your mammoth. Your mastodon. Sorry, he's a mastodon. There we go. Uh, so you are here at the abandoned camp. And uh, everything is exactly as it was when you left it. The broken chest is still laying in the back of the wagon. And there is still a body laying beside the thing. But you can see that there are some, there are some animal tracks now that have been around it. And something's been gnawing at this body laying beside the abandoned campfire. Uh, as did, you did, we check that body. Yes, and you didn't find anything else on that body. It was a female body. Yes, mm -hmm. missing its feet. Well, the one foot was in the fire pit, and I moved it out of the fire pit. That was good of you. You also found the two letters. Do you remember the letters that you yep. found yes. here? All right. I'm not sure they're in the journal. I hope they are. Uh, they're probably if you go to party journal and you go to looted camp. There'll be a copy of both letters in Looted Camp, or both pages of the same mm -hmm. thing from the journal. All right? Okay. Does anybody else need to finish any business here at the Looted Camp, or should we proceed to the mine? Uh, just let's refresh ourselves on what it said in the letter. In the, in the letter? In the journal? Yeah. It, it said basically, uh, can I zoom this in? Maybe I can, maybe I can't. I have feelings about doing my daily journal, and I, just, I cannot read that font. It drives my eyes not. We've decided to turn back from meeting, from uh, meeting with the Fae after encountering encountering an enchanted bridge. It appears to be the only way across the enchanted border stream for miles, and we could not figure out how to cross without activating the guardians. That's what that page said. The second page says, I wish there was a zoom in feature on that. Since we have no hope of safely crossing the Feywood, we're forced to travel northeast, up and around the Feywood, if we hope to make it to the East Village's coast. I'm scared. Going that way is too close to the northern orc country for me. Also, Celiana says she had a terrible dream last night that a dark soot-covered dwarf was staring at her from the bushes while she slept near the campfire. This is not a good omen. That's what you find. Uh, you don't find anything else at the camp um, except that letter that you had taken with you. So at least we know the Dwargar have been in this area. You know, well, we're, well. I think we're well, going to We're following. follow those bloody footprints that we avoided following the first time right. that we are in this camp to the abandoned mine mm -hmm. which is where i'm assuming we're going mm -hmm. so there is a uh there are tracks here you can see the bloody tracks they move away from the uh camp uh you had done a check before percy and you had determined that it looked like there were uh three sets of human tracks male mm -hmm. and there were uh three or four at least sets of small tracks that you know now are dwarven tracks yeah dwarven so tracks. what they did was grab the captives and took off that, and killed would, the that would have been the uh prisoners right right assume uh, assuming but um it would make sense let's follow the tracks okay. you're gonna follow the tracks we're following the tracks. and it's good that we happen to follow have the yellow brick road two Neat. tracks follow the yellow brick road Neat. Apparently, your Dwergar. We're going to just pretend your Dwergar is here because I didn't put him on this map. This is a problem. Hmm. Okay, so you're going to. You're going to follow the bloody footprints. Yes, please. As you follow the bloody footprints. You see ahead of you, near the road to the north, what appears to be uh, a guttering out torch laying there. A witch? A, a guttering out torch. It's it's dying. Torch that is dying. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's dying. It's There's just uh, one last ember in it. And uh, it appears to have been thrown away, although 
why the Dwergar would bother with a torch. Maybe that's why it was thrown away. They don't need it to see. And maybe it was a human torch. Anyways, uh, as you follow these tracks, you get all the way up here. And hooray, we are at, we're at the next map. A new map. Hooray. All right. Uh, let's uh, show you guys. Uh, we're going to assume that you're here on your mammoth. Boop. Your Mastodon. I'm just going to rename it Mastodon so that I remember all the damn time. Okay, you're here with your Mastodon. And uh, here, I'll zoom this out. We should also zoom out this big map. And we'll, we'll put it down here for now like this. Why don't we clear all those minis or away or move them to where they're supposed to be with uh, you guys? We'll get the table map up. Hmm, here we go. This is what you can see so far. Actually, because it is daylight now and it is no longer dark, uh, I'm going to light this baby up so that you can see what, what's going on here. Uh, let me get a bigger brush size. From here... This is what you can see. So it appears to be some kind of abandoned mine. I am going to take that off there. I don't have an image of the abandoned mine. I'm just going to leave the image behind me that way um so there's no spoilers and uh, you guys can decide what you want to do based on what you can find on the map that's on the table now okay um uh, listen first good call listen. good call mm -hmm. yes perceive our surroundings but i'm all about following those footsteps because i'm pretty sure that well, will yes. also that's going to be uh obviously a trap so um we will have to cautiously approach oh well, we have someone who's really good at investigating and the checking scenarios for traps <laughs> okay so stealthy boy <laughs> so you i apparently you've been voluntold to go do some some Stealthic. sneaky looking <laughs> about i'm going to move this over a little bit because we've all seen the corner of it now we don't really need to see the corner of it anymore what we need to see is kind of this central part here so, uh, no, oh, I went too far. Let's go back. Okay, so are you wishing to stealth around? You go ahead and I'm, put your mini where it's going to go. I'm stealthing into the entrance. And what I will mine. do is I will, uh, use my brush to show you, take the fog away to show you. I'm debating whether or not I'll keep using this simple fog technique or whether I'll do something else. But because I could set up walls and then your tokens could have vision. But the problem is that's so much extra stuff to do. Okay, so uh, this is what you see is ahead of you. It looks like there is what's left of some old rail tracks on that are supported by wooden logs going down into uh, some kind of uh, almost like a quarry pit and if we put the um our prisoner uh, ahead of me to light the way okay so oh, that's <laughs> not a bad know. idea amigo all right as you take the prisoner and you put him ahead of you i gotta go find a dwergar now here we let me see if i can get the right one there we go. We got a door guard now. And you were going up with him? Yeah. So you got him on Here, a rope? Give me triple so that we can see everything at the same time. Thank you. Okay, so uh, as you put him up here like this uh, in front of you, moving him forward, and he is... I, I'm not going to make him lit here. It would take me too much to has, hassle to set up the token to be brightly lit, I think. Yo, that uh, dwarf is lit. <laughs> Oh, you know what we could do, actually? We just give him a torch. Items, common items, adventure gear. We give him a torch in his inventory. 
As soon as he has a torch, this is a cool little uh, thing. As soon as he has a torch, boop, light the torch. There. Okay, he's lit up. Uh, anyways, uh, so as you put him... I don't see any difference whatsoever. Right well, that's because those tokens are back here. And... Well, he's lit up a little bit. It's not going to be the fantastic, amazing... Uh... It's okay. It's just yeah, it is. Thing. If it were dark, you would be able to tell, and he likes the dark, that he's lit. See? Mm -hmm. Ah. Oh, there we go. But it's daylight right it's now. Daylight. It's morning. Mm. So you can't really tell. All right. It's about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning right now. Uh, you would depart it at 6. It'll be uh, 7.30. 7.30. Okay. All right. As uh, Thaddeus is pushing him forward ahead of him, I rolled a fifteen for for um, investigation. For investigation. Uh, okay, for perception. As you're pushing, all of a sudden he chuckles and he says something in Latin. He chuckles and he says, "Nice of you to bring yourselves as our slaves." <coughs> he says, "But you might want to mind your step just ahead of us here. See how this doesn't look quite right between these two rocks." And he points out that there is, in fact, a trap right there mm -hmm. oh. that you would not know about if you had not gotten that damn Der Dwergar dwarf in front of you <laughs> and pushed him up there and been good thinking call. smart and sneaky like a good rogue. Good call. With a 15, you would not have detected it. Okay. You wouldn't need a 16 or higher. So there is a trap there. As you look at it closely, what the hell kind of trap is it? It's a hidden pit. Mm. So uh, what do you want to do about grand. this? It's a big square pit that's covered over. The back screen behind is not you. that because I'm not going to give away all the stuff. Yeah. Look, look at your. You laptop. can look at your own screen. No, I'm looking at this. Okay. Right? I mean, that's why so, I've got the map. The Everybody's on the map. And, uh, trick the trees. Well, uh, you can trip the trap and the top of it falls in and you are looking at a big old uh, open pit. I can actually make that happen. Uh, can we skirt the edges of this pit? You uh, because it could to try boulder, to climb there, around are, are, are it. Are there ridges? The so, boulders are ridge. rounded on both sides. You could probably climb around it, especially with the climbing gear that you have. Hmm. I'm going to put a pit in place so that you can... Ugh. I'm going to put a pit in place. For some reason, it's not listening to me. Why would that be? Um, because computers are bullies. Mm. Yeah, right. Computers are mean. Mm -hmm. uh, computers are bullies. I think they it's are very mean. mean. I think, I think because, aha, because it's something that's actually a thing. Okay, there's the pit. You want to try and get across it? It looks like the pit isn't that big. It's only 10 by 10. Yeah. And so the edges, how much of an edge do we have on either sides? Probably looks like to be about a foot edge. On all Where's that. our mastodon? It's over back at the start of the... Uh, right, right down there. It's, it's parked the at the, the end of the trail. You all got down off of it to yeah. look in this area. So is it safe there or can it be taken by someone? If they try to take it, it'll turn back uh, into a statue. If they tried to take it, they, the, you, you're the one with the uh, the, the, the mastodon. Uh, the wooden... yeah. It will not respond to anybody's commands but your commands. And okay. if anybody does anything else, the only other thing they could do is try and attack it, in which case it would vanish. Yeah. Okay. So we have valley parking. I just... Your making, mastodon is safe. I'm just making sure it's okay. Let's see, now you know how I felt about bear. I understand. <laughs> I rolled a 19 on my acrobatics. 
Acrobatics. Okay. You want to jump across or walk across the edge? Yes. <laughs> okay. You end up walking across the edge. No problem. Thaddeus just walks across the edge. Boop. And he has no problem. What are you doing with the dwarf? Just yank him across with the rope. Sure. He's like four pounds. Now don't toss a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to take a break here, guys. Uh, because uh, our timer is up. It is now um, 8.58 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We are going to come back at 9.10. Okay, so 12 minutes from now.